to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came Hey, good morning, good morning, guys Yes, indeed It is time for us to get out of here And get back into the snow and slush, I guess I guess you could say Yeah, I'm gonna go find out and see if they have plowed the road yet I think they have, but then again, you never know, right? Yeah. <coughs> Turn left and then. Turn it is right still feet. snowing a little tiny bit. I mean, it's not bad, and it's not slippery either. Oh, you don't have no single light or what? Like what? The heck? Why can't you turn on your single light? I could have made my turn if you had your single light on, but some people apparently don't have single lights. But anyways, yeah, it looks like at least up here they have clouded, so that's good news. <clears throat> yeah, we're just getting our day started. Turn right on US 52. This thing was really 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 snow covered last night when I was coming through here so so I decided you know what since there's no snow plows on the road anywhere in sight and I've been driving in that for a while I said I'm calling her quits I'm going to stop at the nearest place that I can stop at and that's exactly what we did. We stopped at the closest place we could stop at and called her a day. So that's it. So now we are rested. We had a good night's sleep. I hope you guys also did have a good night's sleep. Now we're going to get back at it and hopefully we can get some good weather today I know it's still fairly windy so we'll see we'll see how it goes yeah, so far it seems to be all right luckily it's not very cold so it's not really slippery out there at least you know that's even what I felt like last night it really wasn't that slippery but it was starting to make it dangerous where, you know, you can't see the road, right? And it's not a really wide road up here, as you can see. So then you're always facing the danger of losing track of where the road is. And then you start wandering, wandering off the road, you know? Once you hit that edge, you know, you're going down, man. There's no two ways about it. And so... Uh, so that's nah, not worth it that I was really hoping I could make it up to Minot, North Dakota last night but unfortunately I wasn't able to do that so but hey that's the way it is right you can't always do it the way you want it or plan it in your trucking career so if I could have done that last night I could be in Calgary tonight but we'll see I mean I got 783 miles Calgary yeah that would be a little bit on the tight side but might be able to pull it off we'll see I doubt it but we'll see what happens all right guys we've been driving now for about an hour and uh, it is very very dangerous conditions up there this road is just one sheet of ice right now I gotta be really really careful for that wind not to be blowing me off the road I'm only you know doing 37 miles an hour right now you know every time I step on it a little bit you know give it a little gas she's just starting to spin away on me and with that wind just coming right across that road it's like zigzagging every once in a while on my truck you know so I cannot afford to to go any faster than what I am especially with the light load that I got I gotta be super careful right now this is usually the time of the year when 
a lot of accidents do happen and I got to take a real super careful here real slow because I cannot afford an accident especially with all the money I spent into the truck this year already there's no way I can afford another mishap or anything like that you know so uh, I don't even know if I'm going to continue driving here today I, I might just go to the next available truck stop just call our quits this is just too dangerous there's no snow clouds out here whatsoever they're not putting any salt down and that's just making it really dangerous for this road I don't understand why they don't put no salt down you know like why couldn't you get the salt trackers out here and put salt down here you know but nope Yes, they got the snow clouds out here a couple of times. They moved the snow off of the roads, but they're not putting any salt down. It's just bad, you know. Like North Dakota, what's wrong with you guys? Normally, you guys have really good roads. And not now, that's for sure. Ooh, yeah, boy, we're starting to slip and slide here. That's not good. All right, guys, we are out here in North Dakota, and I'm parked way over there at the truck stop. I just wanted to show you guys this road a little bit look at that this is pure pure ice and very very windy out here look at this hey this is just pure ice out here but yeah I just figured I would go ahead and show you guys a little bit I got my mic out here that's supposed to block the wind noise and all that cancellation there but you see how that snow is just coming right across the road and there's no snow plows out here really that are putting salt down and i just learned that they don't even put salt down out here in south dakota so uh or north dakota i meant to say sorry about that and they got some kind of some kind of chemical that they use apparently that works good and uh they don't even do that right now at the moment so uh I called our quits, it's too dangerous for me, I got a very light load and we got like a 35 mile an hour wind coming right across the highway there so it's just too dangerous for me so I said I'm quitting, I'm, t I'm retiring from trucking today, at least for now, we'll see if they will put some of that orange juice or whatever they call down later on and we'll see if we will be able to uh, continue with our journey then but as of right now we're just parked over there and calling it a day and we're gonna go inside and take us a shower here pretty quick and so let it snow let it snow yes indeed so probably won't be much of a video today but I don't know why this truck decided to park right here but oh, it almost looks like this brick froze up over there or something but anyways there's a few other trucks out here that parked here already since I've gotten here and they're just deciding to stay too. Even the one over there with the flat that that's parked right beside me, I talked to him and he said he, uh, he said it's just not worth being out there on the road. He said it took him an hour and a half to get from Minot to here and he said guys were spinning out out there in Minot so, uh, so yeah, I call it quits. Anyways, I'll go back in the truck and get my clothes and go take a shower. All right, guys, it is time to get out of the truck and evaluate our situation out here. Yeah, let's go check up on things and see what's been happening for the last few hours. Yeah, look at all the snow build up here on my hood. Yeah, it's insane. Look at that. You can't even see my lights. Whoa, look at that. That's, the snow is as high as my truck is, eh? Look at that, you see that? Whoa, that's a lot of snow, eh? Man, oh man, look at that truck over there. He's just spinning, he's trying to get out of there. And he's just spinning and spinning and spinning. Yikes, yeah. This is not looking good. This snow is getting deeper and deeper. <laughs> We're supposed to get probably another uh, eight inch. Let me just clean the lens here. Yeah, there we go. That lens is getting covered there pretty quickly because the wind is coming from that side there. So, yeah, so we're just doing a little bit of a weather report. Looks like the truck stop is starting to get full over here too. Not much to do over here. So, yeah, look at that. Look at that swarmy truck right from the front there, eh? Whoa, I think we're going to go back inside and 
put the camera inside so don't get too wet, eh? All right, guys, it is the next morning. Uh, it's about 6.30 in the morning this morning. And I figured I would finish my video. And I'm looking outside and at least it's not snowing like crazy anymore. So still a little light flurries it looks like. But uh, very little, very little. So uh, I think I'm gonna go check out the roads and see how that looks and how, how the wind feels and all that. And I think we're gonna give it a try. I think that's what we're gonna do. So uh, with that being said, I'm gonna get out of here on this video and uh, stick around for tomorrow video, video and see how we are doing and all that good stuff. See if we made it. So uh, appreciate you guys watching my video today. And don't forget to give it a like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. This has been Trucker Rudy signing out. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna